Pete here. Hope you guys are doing well. I've been feeling strong, eating a ton of meat, and it looks like uh, the strict curl is going to go up again. So uh, my old record was 145 pounds. I put a video on a while ago. The current Canadian record is 140 pounds for my weight class. Uh, I'm sitting at like 195 this morning, and uh, staying lean as always. But on the bar we got uh, 45. A 10, two fives, the bar weighs 20. So this is 150 pounds strict curl. Not as much as Nick strength and power, but I'm getting there. I've just started training for strength. So let's see what we got. What's up guys? It's a beautiful day in Edmonton. It's about minus 10 Celsius. What's that? 20 degrees in the States. Oh man, I'm lucky to live in a place that's so beautiful that has so much sunshine. We got almost the most sunshine hours per year. Uh, it is cold, but can't do this in Vancouver when it's raining. Uh, just finished an awesome workout. Got a record on the strict curl. Been training that today. Uh, was training with my bro Jordan. He was hitting up some squats and bench. I hit strict curl 150 pounds, so I got another five pounds on that. Uh, so I'm waiting for 100% raw powerlifting to announce the next competition so I can take that record. Uh, hoping for like a 170, 175 by Christmas. That would be pretty sweet. Yeah, I can see it's just beautiful here. Sunny day. Just thought I'd give a little update. Feeling good. Uh, did some deadlifts. Did 405 for six, so that's great. I just started doing deadlifts about three weeks ago. Uh, I was doing calisthenics all year, body weight training, and now I'm switching it up for the winter, going back to power lifts, getting strong, seeing if seeing if I can break some old all-time records. My best is 610. Uh, so we're gonna build up to that, and then uh, bench. I got a 250 for 10, 315 for one, which is awesome. Haven't hit three plates for over a year now. So the training's going really good. Uh, yeah, so I thought I'd give an update and it's just gorgeous here. I, I don't know if you can see, we're staying pretty lean. You know, doing the Paul Saladino, Sean Baker, John Anderson, Ted Naiman inspired meat diet. So lots of beef, about 400 grams of protein a day, about 3,000 to 3,500 calories eggs, egg whites, a little protein powder. I'll have to show you guys what I eat as well. But I haven't posted to YouTube for so long and I thought I'd start making videos again, if if anything, just for my own record, you know, just to see what I was doing back in 2020 during uh, coronavirus. But get outside, get some fresh air, get some sunshine, work out, lift some weights, set PRs. Oh, eat nature's beautiful foods, lots of animals with your friends and family. Live a nice balanced life, work less, and uh, and play more and be healthy. Keep that immune system up. So if this ever does hit you, that it won't be such a big deal. And protect your loved ones. All right, you guys, stay strong. Hey guys. After this, I uh, cooked up some steak, got some filet and some ribeye cooking up in the old cast iron grill. And uh, this is one of my favorite things, is just cooking. Just, you gotta love cooking. Uh, this, you know, this, this nutrition plan is giving me so much energy, so many gains. And I just find myself, I'm just not putting on any fat despite everything I'm eating. I really enjoy this. It's taken me many years to gain the maturity and to be able to appreciate this style of eating. Um, you know, as far as wanting, you know, the foods of my childhood, that just, uh, I don't feel that anymore. Uh, and again, I just want to give a shout out to Dr. Paul Saladino. Check out his channel on YouTube. He did a Joe Rogan interview recently. He's, he's probably the most intelligent, articulate speaker I've ever heard. The guy's so enthusiastic about what he does. 
great energy. Dr. Ted Neiman as well. Uh, he's done many podcasts. Uh, he's another doctor that advocates high protein. John Anderson, the legend, the, the wrestler, the strong man. Check out his channel. He's a beast. He's an absolute beast. Nobody else is doing what that guy does. That guy's 48 or 49 years old. He's like 300 pounds of solid muscle. Um, and, you know, whether anybody says, oh, he's on drugs or he's not on drugs, it doesn't matter. That guy is so far ahead of anybody else. Every other bodybuilder like him I've seen um, can't keep up to that guy. Uh, that's that uh, jerk spice I've been using. That stuff is amazing. You can find that at Superstore in the uh, international food section. Just awesome. I highly recommend it. It's really good. Spices is everything, guys. You can try different cuts uh, of, of beef, uh, but different spices, you know, they really, they really give you some variety in your, in your eating. But, uh, man, yeah, this stuff's so tender. It's so good. I highly recommend um, if you're dealing with leaner cuts, uh, like sirloin or round, uh, you, you want to cook that stuff for a good half an hour. Um, you know, medium heat and some liquid in there, some stock, some bone broth. That's going to break it up and, and make it more tender. Uh, and then finish with a sewer in the cast iron skillet. Um, I actually, previous to this, not many people know, but uh, I went to donate blood a couple years back. And they wouldn't let me donate because... Uh, yeah, don't cut corners. They wouldn't let me donate because uh, my, my hemoglobin was too low. It was just under the minimum. And the doctor looked at me and says, oh, it doesn't seem like there's anything wrong with you, but I get it checked out. So I went to the doctor, they tested it again, and it was just above the minimum. So then he says, oh, there's nothing wrong with you. And I said, well, I think there is. I mean, I should have my hemoglobin. So I started eating more red meat, uh, eating liver once a week as well, uh, also canned oysters, high in clams, clams are high in iron. and that seems to have helped out a lot, like my energy is way better, uh, I notice a big difference, right, so, yeah, I thought I'd just set up the recorder and see what happens, I'm sure the videos get better and better, and better. But I noticed with YouTube, though, that a lot of it is just, you have to love making video. Like, you have to really enjoy setting up the camera and talking and stuff. And, uh, I'm just doing this for my own record keeping, but if somebody else finds information from it, then that's awesome. Um, you know, I'm not happy for that. So yeah, I'll just let this run out. I mean, I've got another five minutes or so. Actually, I'm not doing it. Um, well, you guys have an awesome weekend.